What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Portsmouth. Let's play Season 7, Episode number 9. And uh, the downtown's coming along. We've still got some cleanup to do. But in the meantime, trying to meet some of the demands. And uh, usually happens once every season. I framed out a neighborhood, surrounded it with trees, and then I hit play and forgot that I wasn't recording. Um, so... So I built this out just to meet residential demand. It was, I don't know, about halfway up and it pretty much flattened out after a few people moved in. So I still have to figure out what the problem is with my zoning over here. Any of the low density, high density that I define over here is not filling up. Um, and it's something to do with the, the theme that I've got in place. So I, either way, the, the town of Portsmouth really drops off in a low density residential once you get past this immediate downtown area and that's exactly what I wanted to do here so I'm thinking we can kind of do this same thing with a you know an isolated neighborhood here it doesn't have too many connections to the exterior roads and that's what I did here is there's you know a couple on this side there's one cut through to get over here but there's nothing intersecting with here or here the roads to the top or bottom um, again just kind of trying to minimize any cut through traffic and make it so that hopefully the only people that want to go through here are people that are going to the residence anyways. So let's frame out another neighborhood because we've got the money. And I'm thinking we can do something like that. Have a road that comes through maybe about halfway. Like so. And then... Maybe we can come down here and kind of connect up this. Just so that there's a little basic framework here for us to work with. And as we have new residential demand, we'll start to build off of this. We'll try and keep the intersections off of the surrounding box, basically, and kind of have these come through, you know, something like that. Trying not to overlap too much zoning. And we won't zone off on the, the main streets. So these houses right here won't have anything behind them. And we do the same thing over here. We'll just have some, again, some zoning that's ready to go. Now we do have quite a bit of commercial demand and at some point we'll want to move some of that up here to this mall but we're going to wait till we can get at least that one more tile and I think this is a really appealing tile too up here because this is kind of the, the kittery side and there's definitely a little you know population and commercial sector over here on this island where there are not trees it's one of the things I said when I was making the map is kind of the, the the places where people aren't are where the trees are so if you see anywhere else i mean i am surrounding those neighborhoods then after the fact but uh what can we do over here for commercials so i think we can definitely support more commercial around here we're having some problems up here in the downtown area but as we move more and more residents in around here i think it should only should only smooth itself out All the mows are doing great. We still got 19 of them. Gonna fix that at some point. Otherwise, we're really gonna develop a drinking problem here. I'm gonna do uh, on this block. No, I'm not. I made that a park, didn't I? I moved that park. I had a park over here and I started moving people in. And I said, oh, I better move that park down here. And now I'm thinking of moving it again because that would be a good spot for some commercial. But let's let's do that. Let's let's get a uh, let's move some stuff around here. We'll take up some of the space that our struggling commercial district is dealing with. Can we get these back to back? That would be awesome. We'll do that. 
And then we'll clear all this space out for... Throw the school up there. I gotta remember, I, I, you can set presets in uh, Ultimate Eye Candy, but I forget. And I should load up a preset every time, because every episode, I feel like, it, it starts getting dark, and then I remember to uh, to turn that off. Ooh, what are we on for graphic settings? Uh, yeah, I'm on... I'm getting 15 frames per second, but let me back this down so we get a little bit better. I've definitely improved some of the issues. If we look at Ultimate Eye Candy, I might... Or not Ultimate Eye Candy. Ultimate Level of Detail. I did back that down. So that gets us a couple more frames. Things look a little less sharp, but hopefully a little more smooth. And what I do is at the end of the episode, I switch it over to 4K resolution. Um, it does, obviously, I'm, I'm still only uploading the footage at 1080p, but you do get sharper textures that downscale better. Um, and then I throw the uh, ultimate level of detail on most of the max settings, or one shy of max, the good luck setting, not the goodbye setting. Because uh, I can still get 5 to 10 frames on that and record cinematics relatively easily. But what we could do, and what we should do, is I've been putting off this park for a while. So let me make sure, okay, it encompasses that entire block, so we're good there. And let's give a, a city park for some people here. Doesn't have to be too fancy, but I think it would be nice to kind of add it in. We'll do an entrance kind of there. Oh, already has a main gate. We need to do the uh, the secondary gates. So I'll kind of come down to the end of the zoning on both sides, like that and that. If that makes sense. I think that's enough entry points. We could always do one on this side. One on that side if we wanted to. Just so there's plenty of room. One, for people to get into the park. And two, to potentially have them use it as a, uh, a cut through. And they'll pay us to do it. So if pedestrians want to walk through here, they certainly can. We're not going to stop them. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll connect these two. Or these three, I should say. And then let's I'll come up to here. We'll do a path through the center of the park like that. It's a little weird, but it... It also might be a little bit more natural. I feel like we should have at least one more entrance kind of along this way. So let's do that. Let's do one more side entrance here. And here just for the heck of it. And then we'll connect these in with paths. And I think what I want to do here, I, I don't do this every park, but it's certainly a lot easier on PC. Is we'll fence off the property. These two gates are really close together, aren't they? I didn't realize that until I actually dragged the, uh, the fence from one to the other. Whoa, lag. I, uh, I thought I clicked on it and then came back because it didn't register. And then by the time I did, it was already, it was already there. I really like uh, Park Life. I mean, I like all the DLCs in, in one way or another. Um, I think Industries quickly became my favorite during uh, the Wood Garden season. I, I really hadn't dove into it or given it a chance. And uh, it's having a problem with this road here. So let's just use Anarchy to place that last segment, because for whatever reason, the way this road was placed is kind of overlapping into there. We've got people already using this. Which one was our main? Park area info. 10 bucks every time they come in, and they're just using it as a pedestrian path right now, which is totally fine. We'll give them a little bit more incentive, though, to come in here. We'll add a, uh, a plaza. Put it very central, I guess. We'll do a cafe. A little bit of buffer for the restrooms. 
And then there should be an info booth that we have access to. Yep. So here we go. Just a couple buildings in the center of the park. And if we wanted to decorate a little bit, what are these kind of what do these trees kind of look like? Um, I think what would work good with them. This is just my personal preference. Is the where are they? It's not that one, is it? That one is that one look. So not quite green enough. We're not quite dark enough. I don't know. Let's not do those. Hmm. There's one that I'm looking for that I'm not seeing. That one, I think that one would be good. Okay, so we'll go with the line tool, prop line tool. And I'm gonna connect from here. To there. To line some trees along our path. And we'll do the same thing over here on this side. I don't know. Should we have them on both sides? Let's see, line it up about the same. So we could do something like that. It's um, you can it obviously allows you to space things out a little bit differently from the. Uh, city park paths which have the trees so prop line tool gives you a little bit more freedom there uh, I think we should extend the other half of this park across so we'll do a quick crosswalk so people can get in there it's the same park so we'll use more side gates and we'll do the same thing. I'll put it right on the edge of the zoning here and here. We will, let's see, here and here. And maybe one right there. And maybe one more set right there, just in case. Again, we're, we're beautifying the area. We're raising the land value, but also encouraging people to potentially take these as pedestrian routes to cut through blocks. And the nice thing about that is when they do that, they uh, they pay us for the privilege. So it's a pretty sweet deal and definitely something that you should consider if you're going to be doing any kind of pedestrian paths. Definitely consider cutting them through a park at some point. So I think that could work. And we'll do the same thing maybe with our trees. So was it the Corsican Pine, it's selected. We'll do the line tool. Or no, we'll do the freeform tool because we got a little funky over here. And we'll just kind of fill that in with some trees along the main cut through path. I think like that's good for now. We can we can always come in here and fine tune. I didn't uh, fence off this side of the park yet though. Not that anyone's actually going to walk off a path, but for consistency of the look, we may as well do that. So let me uh, let me do this real quick. We still get all that commercial demand that we need to meet.
There we go. So as that levels up, we'll, uh, we'll drop more and more decorations. And I'm not going to, again, fine tune this too much right now. Because as we drop other park objects in there, I think it only makes sense to kind of rethink and spread stuff out and redo that. And we'll probably make the, the central area right here where the plaza goes and the cafe and other things. And then do some other smaller objects, playgrounds off to the side. But it looks, again, like, you know, some people are cutting through and we haven't fully moved people in over here. So I can only imagine once we get that done, uh, let's... Since the people want commercial, we'll give them some low density commercial over here now just to fill in the space. And maybe we could even do it on this side of the park. I think there's still going to be a little buffer of trees. If I don't like it though, then I can always, we can always come back in here and delete it. But let's give them what they want. We do. It's a toss up, right? I, I want to buy this for expanding industrial. I want to buy this for expanding what would be Kittery, but it, you know, we could argue that that's very late in the build since we should focus on the Portsmouth part first. These, uh, these next tiles over here on the left side of the screen would all be beneficial as well because this lets us hook into the highway. There's some areas down there we could build an exit off of and a couple little towns off the highway. Uh, this obviously is still very much. Uh, nice residential area that we can fill in, but, uh, but we're growing, we're growing, we're growing slow. We need to keep an eye on, uh, the demands because if there's not enough jobs for everybody, then they don't want to move in as residents. Let's see where we're at. 4% unemployment. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, chess board. We'll drop that in to expand our entertainment value of our new park. I believe it is called park park. It is. The game auto-named that, and I kept it. Um, chessboard, where is that? Right here. Oh, it would be nice if it fit right there. It would be nice, but well, hey, we'll have, to, we'll have to make do. Take a couple trees out. And then let's see, uh, just entertainment-wise, where we're at. So is it just a matter... We have enough entertainment value to get to the next level, and it's just a waiting game for visitors. So we'll let that play, and that should rank up in pretty much no time. So let's let this play for a minute and see what kind of zoning builds up. Um, and we'll see if any problems develop. Looks like we've got a problem with high school service. So where are we lacking? One, two over there. I haven't put one over here yet. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. So, maybe right down here. We'll uh, we'll clean this up and maybe do a little school block. We've got the middle school here and the high school. We'll kind of build those into one campus. Because that, that kind of makes sense. That you might have elementary, middle, and high school all in kind of one spot in this town. That, uh, by the way, this is the, the middle school custom object that I downloaded, and it meets the needs of uh, elementary. So it supports 300 students. Basically, it works off the same exact template as the built-in elementary school. It's just a much bigger footprint and a different, a different look and feel. So we've got our residential demand climbing up. Excellent. More people want to move in. I'm all for that. So let's go ahead and get this all built up. Are we still in the yellow for high school? Even after that? Maybe we'll get one more. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do we need another one for this neighborhood? So when you switch the views, right, you can see who's graduated. And the houses change color, I think, based on that level, right? So elementary, we're doing pretty good. High school, definitely dry over here, but we didn't have a high school over there. We're also dry over this way. We've got 2.1 million in the bank. It's one of those unfortunate things that uh, I guess we'll have to drop in another high school. So let's do that for now to hopefully get this area better educated. Once we unlock the Hadron Collider, we're going to have to cheat to get there, right? Because we're not going to hit the milestone that would allow us to uh, to unlock that naturally. But once we do, holy cow, that is some traffic coming off the highway. Um, we need to, to get going down here so that there's alternate routes into this part of the city. Right now, right? Yeah, this is the only way in and out of the city. And it is just creating an incredible burden on an admittedly very poor intersection because diamond interchanges don't handle traffic that well. But people that are from Portsmouth that know at the right time of day, this is exactly what to expect. We're, we're building pretty true to form. This is not the best city planning, but neither is uh, often the case in real life. So um, we need to we need to get going on fixing this backup problem. Because this is an issue. This is definitely an issue. Uh, so maybe we need to think about... We need to think about getting traffic off to the traffic circle over here and making this more of what was it was supposed to be, which is just two highways kind of running under and over one another. And not the actual interchange being here. Uh, but people need to be able to get off the highway this way to hit the traffic circle to potentially come into town this way. We'll have all the traffic from the south of the map that can offload coming there. And then we've got highways over here and we'll connect one more, I think two, maybe two more bridges. I don't know. Definitely one more. We'll get this bridge coming through that will offload some of the traffic, but we've got to get people, you know, from here over to here and provide routes from this way to get into there. It's, it, this is just, this is going to be our traffic nightmare, but it is, it's by design, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll deal with it for now. We'll make sure that there's good coverage for services on both sides because uh, people from here should not be expected to be able to get across that bridge easily. Like even somebody that lived like right here, I don't expect them to, to get over here in a reasonable amount of time, <laughs> which seems a little ridiculous, but we're building pretty true to the form of Portsmouth. Uh, commercials creeping up again. We did define a little bit of zoning up here. Gonna have to work on that. The uh, I'm not crazy about the themes. I love the uh, townhouses and row houses. I think those really fit the, the motif for what we're going for. Uh, my theme is all kind of messed up though. So, also you can see like there's just not enough variation of buildings. We've got multiple ice cream shops. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can see on camera right now. Um, and then the other problem we run into is five guys next to five guys. Bookstores next to bookstores. Uh, we got another Moe's, number 20. There you go. As far as I know, it's number 20 on this downtown area. We might have more. There's 21, 22. Um, so we got to fix that. Uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Oh, man. Okay, so like I said. That is one thing that we will definitely be working on fixing going forward. Uh, commercial out by the river? Sure. So as we have the needs and as we move new neighborhoods in, go ahead and define this all the way down to there. Maybe we could do commercial coming up through here up to this intersection and then we'll keep this spot open for some trees at the end of the streets there that should work should do tricks so that's filling up pretty quick 
And then we can do some more. Oh, this happens every time I change my resolution. So if you change your resolution mid game, the pipes are still animating where they were on the other resolution. So hopefully this doesn't drop our frame rate too much, but that's totally unmanageable. So let's go back into graphics and 4K and see if pipes are actually where they're supposed to be now. Yeah, they are. I don't know what's up with that. That's so weird. But that happens pretty consistently. And unfortunately, I am jumping around a lot more between different resolutions uh, to try and keep things smooth for the recording, but also make things look good for those outro cinematics. Uh, we've got enough commercial demand that as this fills up, I think we're only going to have more residential demand that will follow close behind. So let's see how many streets we can get in, but stay comfortably away from that commercial, hopefully. I want to be right on top of it. I had it in the spot that I liked, and then I, I went that one extra click. So let's do that. <clears throat> I think we can connect through here. Let's do something like that. We'll connect. So there's a couple cross streets, but not too many. And we'll come out right to there. And we'll leave this one open. And then we'll do a couple more freeform roads over here. Maybe we'll connect kind of this one in the center. Does that line up kind of with that other intersection? That could work. We got all these recycling plants down here. We'll want to move those at some point. I am using hide it to hide the pollution. So we've got to remember that when we move them out. There is still pollution there, so we need to be careful of that. It just doesn't show anymore. And it makes areas like this look a lot better. And of course our river too. How is our river doing? Woo! There's not a lot of water flow, unfortunately, so it just kind of sits out there. So we will want to uh, drop in those. Actually, we're really close. We'll want to drop in the Water treatment plant at 18,000. We can get there in a couple minutes. And then when do we get eco? 34,000. So the town itself is 20, 21,000, something like that, uh, in real life. So if we get to, to, the, to the 20s, I will be satisfied that we've grown this city kind of where we need to. And then we can start thinking about uh, populating the, the outlying areas. So obviously people that live in Maine don't count towards the population of Portsmouth and people that live up here in what's known as Newington. Uh, and I want to say Greenland's over here. I could be mistaken. I, I might be remembering wrong, but, uh, the immediate town surrounding it, we can start to, you know, provide a little bit of a buffer. So a little bit of dead space here. Highway exit, little town, couple back roads. There we go. So let's do this. Let's let's drop in all these things that we just got, uh, or at the very least, the first three things: crematoriums, water treatment, floating garbage. <clears throat> we've got we've got money, so let's do it. So floating garbage collectors. Let's drop them where we can. So we'll put one right smack in the middle of that. Hopefully, it stirs things up. Uh, sure, why not? And then what can we do over here? So not a lot, unfortunately. So let's space a couple of these out just to try and clean up our water supply a little bit. Cause there's the water's not moving around. So I don't want it to spread past those. Uh, let's see how much water do these handle? 60,000 cubic meters. And then these handle 120, 160. So uh, three is about 18. So 
for every uh, what, three of these, one, two, three, we need one and a little bit extra. So let's do three. So we'll bulldoze all this. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. So in the same spot, let's uh, also go to our pipes and bulldoze all that because we're going to need to place these a little bit differently. So we'll just do three of these for now if we can cram them all in here on the coast. Excellent. There we go. End power should be good. Just to be safe, that's so close. Okay, I guess it was working. I think it was. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it powered because I was connecting it. Uh, so water, we should be good. Electricity, we're getting down. There we go. Budgets, quick check. 100%. Okay. So university eligible and capacity. Really, we're using... We're using all of the university already, huh? Uh, that means we are going to have a massive death wave. <laughs> if we have 18,000 population and 4,500 of them are all university aged. Uh, where, oh, where can we put this? Let's do this over here for now. We are definitely going to come up with a bigger and better campus and we're probably going to move it all the way up here somewhere and we might do some uh some transport routes just to enable that eventually but but who knows maybe we'll just do a couple we'll do a little trade school a little community college and then and a unh property somewhere but i think timing wise that's certainly a good place to end on um we will i take it back Painting this district is a good place to end on. And then we'll just check to make sure it's watered and then and then we'll call it quits. But hopefully you've been enjoying the video and if you have, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. New episodes of the Let's Play every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now on the live streams, we're doing a console build, so tune in for that Thursday and Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. That's GMT-4 for those of you around the world. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion with other like-minded fans of the channel and of City Skylines, and there honestly is so much great help over there. Uh, I'm learning stuff all the time, and I think a lot of other people are. So come join us. It's a good community, and uh, you know, pose your questions over there. Ideas for videos, anything like that. Uh, come on by, stop by, say hi. But until the next one, when uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know exactly where we're going from here. But the good news is, I can have an argument in my head for a little while about what tile to do next. So um, this one's very appealing. We're gonna want to buy these after that so that we can really get this airport property going airport and industrial we need these three tiles here on the corner uh, this one would let us start kind of building kittery but then we'd also need to buy the one above that uh, this one's okay but if we start to look at the bottom of the map too i mean this is all all residential area we can build and it, it's all going to be covered with with a little something here and there uh, but this is the main focus of the build. But I got distracted on my own outro. So with all that out of the way, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Move the mouse, signing off.